I have a little bit of a confession to make. I have never <laughs> done a solo overnight backpacking trip in a tent. I've done cabins, Morning, I've done guys. cowboy camping, I've done sleeping in my tent next to the car, but I am yet to do a solo tent backpacking trip. And so here we are, packed up my stuff, drove up the mountain, and we are currently at the Mackenzie River Trail. Needless to say, I'm really, really nervous, but I was asking the ranger if it was okay to park at the ranger station. I sounded so nervous, because I am. But we chose a very easy trail that we are not gonna get lost on. It's highly trafficked. There's good camping spots. There's water along the way. We're gonna hike three or four-ish miles down the river and we're gonna do our first overnight backpacking trip. It's a beautiful day out. William is with me. Here we go. I'm fucking scared. So since this is my first backpacking trip, I'm giving myself plenty of time to find a campground and enough time to potentially walk back to my Jeep if needed. It's just really nice to have that peace of mind on your first time. First flowers peeping out of the ground. Is this bark beetles doing? Someone in the comments will tell me. I hate when William stops in the middle. And starts staring. There might be some people out here. It's okay. Come on, let's go. No, you can't eat that, William. Come on. What would William do without me? I don't think he could survive in the forest alone, to be honest. Beautiful here. Wow, look at this awesome bridge. It's amazing. All right, I think we can camp anywhere past here now. Well, we have found our camp spot for the night. It's right on the trail, which I don't really like, but it's near the river, enough that I can collect water. I have to be really careful because it's pretty steep over there. And it's flat here, and it's obvious that people can't camping, so. I think it should be fine. I got bear spray. I got a machete. I got a scary looking dog. I'm feeling really good about this. To me, it's pretty stinking amazing that you can have a whole shelter and just like a little bag like this. Oh, and my pet clothes. Yeah, it's pretty stinking amazing. It's about 4.30 now. So yeah, we'll set up the tent. Feed William. Time to set up my tent. It's been some months since I last did this. No, William, don't step on the tent. Such an easy tent to move up together. Let's go. Look at this sweet boy. He chose to sleep right there. He loves the moss. I have a nice mat set out for him, so it's like he's definitely choosing the moss over the mat. Dirt in here. Thermorust. sleeping bag. Emergency bivy if it gets too cold. Because I'm a wimp. It comes cold. A pillow. A lantern. And sleeping bag. William is exhausted. You wanna go on your sleeping bag, buddy? And lay down and check the dinner. Come here. Look, well. Look. Yeah. Ooh. There you go, buddy. Good. You took a little nap in there. <laughs> William is so tired, I feel so bad. We did not hike that far. It was about four miles, which I've done with William before. He loves this thing, though, because he's a burrower. It's taken me years to give in and just go ahead and buy a thermo rest. I was like, I don't want to spend that money, much money on a sleeping pad, but I'll tell you, this thing is worth it for sure lightweight. It's super comfortable. That's the one thing about backpacking. It's it's just super expensive. Like 
The barrier to entry is large and it's taken me years to build up all this stuff to feel confident enough to do this. So I feel like I've made it in life right now. This is gonna be very comfortable tonight. Okay, so our tent's way over there. To be honest, I'm really not sure what 100 feet would look like. I'm guessing like 100 steps-ish. I have a bear bag. I'm an official camper. I feel so official. Ready for dinner, Will? I got gummy bears. Okay. William is hungry, boy. How's your dinner, buddy? Honestly, this could not be more perfect of a setup for a first time overnight tent backpacker. Like, look, it's a natural kitchen on this nurse log. It's perfect. All right, let's not spill our soup because I am so hungry. For dinner tonight, I didn't get too crazy because I don't know, I just wanted less things to worry about and something quick and easy, but I love these Amy soups, these, this Thai sweet potato lentil one. One of the best. And yeah, always make sure to bring a baggie to pack your trash out. like some good fresh snow melt river water. I realized I did forget something and that is my extra camera battery. Oh my goodness. At least I have my GoPro on my phone so I can record on that. For now we are going to go hang the bear bag. I think I'm ready to do that. Well shout out Madison Clydesdale. I watched her TikTok and it taught me how to hang this correctly in like 90 seconds. Now that's the kind of content I'm here for. So quickly before my battery dies I have to hang this five feet off the ground and I have to make sure I have a good knot. This is closed all the way. And yeah, some slip knots around a carabiner. Well, this is how you hang in our sack. I hope I did it right. We will find out. I feel like in black bear country is better than in grizzly slash black bear country to try this out, so. Well, not much to do for the rest of the night. I should have planned better so I could have made a fire. I just thought all the wood would be wet out here, so I was like, I'm not even gonna try. My main fear, basically, tonight is just animals. Also people, of course. Yeah, I think that people are just afraid of this kind of thing because of how much freaking media and TV there is. Like the Blair Witch Project and all of that, I think it really has made this kind of thing kind of spooky to a lot of people, to the mainstream. We'll see how it goes tonight. If it goes downhill from here, maybe. I'll be like this, I'm never doing this again. Or maybe this could be like the beginning of something really awesome and new and exciting. Yee. My main goal for this quick and dirty first overnight backpacking trip was not only to test me and my dog William's ability outdoors, but to sort of simulate what I need to do when I backpack deeper into the backcountry in grizzly territory. I think it's definitely a good idea to test your gear out in stages, and that takes a lot of time, but we are nearly to the point where we can start doing more tough overnights, which is super exciting, but let's not get ahead of ourselves and get through this first night. Well, I hope you can see me. The screen on the front of this GoPro is broken. So we're going to slide into our sleeping bag now and listen to an audiobook and hope that all goes well. Yeah, it's pretty dang spooky out there, but I'm hoping the river is so loud that it'll help cover up any like sounds, weird, strange sounds. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to be brave. I'm brave. I just have to focus on the fact that tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up in the beautiful rainforest and it's gonna be so lovely. But for now, I need to settle in get relaxed, only think good thoughts, and try to get a good night's sleep. Mm. this thing on? We made it to the morning, everybody. I'm just so proud we did it. <laughs> we made it through the whole entire night. Oh, overnight. Good morning, buddy. Oh, 
sleep while I'm all night long. Overall, my night in the rainforest went pretty smoothly, other than having to wake up periodically to tuck William back in, and a strange dream within a dream about a big cat growling. Oh, and a strange sound in the distance, which I could have also imagined waking me up. It really wasn't too bad of a night. I was expecting to get zero sleep this first time around, but I ended up getting about five hours of solid sleep. I just really wanted to record and share this experience for you all to add to the other videos of solo women out in the woods. I think there isn't enough positive media showing that this can be done safely and can be really enjoyable. I just hope that this inspires you, no matter what your gender, to get out in the wild and spend some time getting connected to Mother Earth. Beautiful rainforest. Oh, you did it! We both did it! <laughs> We're both so happy. Oh, and you're all rested again. Feeling rested, buddy. Ready to hike back. And let's check out our bear bag. She looks good. Hmm, yeah, no signs of anything, I don't think. I was wondering if I'd remember to lock the carabiner, and I didn't. So, rookie mistake. Next time I won't make that same mistake. It's like successful nights like these, that for sure, are gonna make me addicted to doing this. It's just, it's so freeing to be like, have everything you need and be out in the middle of nature and you're just like, can do it, you're self-reliant. It's pretty amazing to see that I can do this by myself. Well, with a dog, that certainly did help. I did end up using my little heat bivy bag thing. This thing actually really helps a lot keep me warm. That sleeping bag is getting real old. It's rated down to 20 um, Fahrenheit, so it should have been able to handle last night because it did not get below freezing, I don't believe, last night. But I do sleep pretty cold, so having this little extra baby bag was awesome. And I really just need to go ahead and invest in a new sleeping bag if I'm gonna be doing this often because I like to be warm at night and I had like all my layers on too, which is like kind of uncomfortable, so. I get something a little warmer, that'd be nice, but I'm super glad I brought this baby. It says that it can heat your sleeping bag up to 15 more degrees, so it would have been rated at 35 degrees Fahrenheit, so I slept really good. Okay, one last little thing. It's taken me a very long time to gain enough knowledge and bravery to make a trip like this happen. And I just want to remind everyone of that. If you're looking to get out there and backpack, don't be discouraged if you aren't at the point where you feel comfy doing this yet. Take baby steps and enjoy the process of learning. It's a little bit cliche, but I wish someone would have told me that way back when I first started getting into all of this. Ready to head out, William? It's not lost to me, but you can carry all the stuff you need for an overnight in a backpack and set up and like spread out <laughs> with all your stuff. It's amazing. Ready? Let's go back to the Jeep. Well, I don't see any glass on the ground. Everything looks intact. My faith in humanity restored. This has just been the perfect first backpacking trip. I could not have asked for it to go more smooth and to be so enjoyable. Geez, I am a lucky girl and William is a lucky dog. You tired? I gotta take this off. Woo! Oh, I have a sandwich in the car. <laughs> That's all I can think about. <laughs>